Hey guys, my name is Moshpitti, and today I've got a replay in the AMX 30B2 4AD, and let's see what I can do with it. Alright, so we are on Westfield. I'm playing with my mate Maniac in his Scorpion 90. We were just blasting tanks, having fun, trying to grind the long haul, and lo and behold, our sniper scout duo gets Westfield. We could not get more lucky as far as matchmaking goes. So let's see what we can do with it. Now, this match, once the action starts, it's just not going to stop. So I'm going to try to, my best to keep up with the commentary. But uh, if I miss a beat, well, just uh, go back and watch what happened again. Because <laughs> it's going to be hard to commentate over everything and explain everything that happens. But this play that I'm making, going to the uh, center here, this is what I make with every tank. Even if we don't have scouts, because it gives me flexibility to move into either flank. Now, right off the bat, we already find a wounded, tracked Leopard 1A1, and we are going to make it, make very short work of it with the 4 ad. Get a tracking shot of the FB4211 here. Keep the tracks off with the machine gun while I'm waiting on my main reload. Now, I can tell I'm getting spotted. That that cannot be the enemies in front of me, because I've got a uh, stealth set up on this, as well as just a ton of foliage. So I'm very likely getting spotted from behind by something like a, a light tank or mediums pushing. But what can I say? I see tax in front of me. I get a little tunnel visioned. I'm getting spotted and I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> and uh oh, it was a BMP2, but we get a bit lucky here. The BMP2 rushes us really hard, and I'm sure I'm gonna eat a missile here. And you can see him take a pause there before I even track him. What I imagine happened was that he was actually on his reload and didn't realize that. On his missile reload, rather. I tried to rush us, realized it's too late he's still on the reload. Um, well, yeah, it didn't quite go as he uh, he had planned it, I imagine. <laughs> now, this is what I mean by playing the center and having like flexibility. We cleaned up one of the flanks. So instead of pushing on the right side where there's just a ton of red, I'm going to keep up with my team and pushing on the left here. We find a tracked WZ-122. I'm just going to pepper him with the machine gun, trying to go through wherever I can, but more importantly, keep him tracked. Now, at some point, even though I didn't originally track the tank, he must have repaired his tracks and I must have blown them off again with my machine gun as I actually got some assisted damage from him as well. Uh, just a heads up, if you're marking tanks, you want to have either spotting or tracking assisted damage. I don't really care about marks at this point anymore, so for me, it's just damage is damage. I'm going to mix and match as much as I want, but just a, a quick reminder that if you are actually trying to mark tanks, don't go for both like I'm doing here. If you've got a ton of assisted damage from spotting, just keep spotting, don't track. If you've got a ton from tracking, keep tracking, try not to spot. Now, we're pushing up, again, just the flexibility of playing at the center. We've got a ton of cover if we're getting pushed. We've got a ton of mobility to go up here or back down or wherever you need to go. The Scorpion 90, uh, he's pushing and he's letting me know that he's pushing. He's cleaning up these tanks. He's, he's getting focused by this FB4211 here, so I'm going to help him finish it off. We make short work of it with the 4 machine gun. Which actually can pen the turret. Not the rear, but the turret. Uh, rear of the turret, rather. Now we find this medium platoon here. And I actually, I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought to myself, hi, free damage, because they're stuck out in the open. I'm probably focusing on my team, but I shouldn't have unarrested them. They actually turned their guns on me immediately, <laughs> reacting to the more immediate threat. Our team actually cleans them up, but the Magog 6 is rather 3 is just as fast to respond as he was before. I try to take off his tracks, get some assisted damage off of him. Uh, try to get one more shot and try not to eat one in return. And luckily he gets taken out. If the Conqueror didn't get him, my friend would have. Now we just go finish on the Enigma. Now, if you want to see how this match actually goes from my friend's perspective, and I, I gotta tell you guys, it's a sight to see. <laughs> I'm gonna link his replay in the comments as well. So you can go watch it yourself. We got an epic victory. MVP 1 and 2. 3 kills on both of us. Mad damage. Even crazier assisted on him. <laughs> we make a boatload of money. We both ace our tanks. It was just a marvel of a game. I had a blast playing it. I had a blast trying to commentate over it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys check out his replay as well. And I hope to see you next time.